Alright guys, I'm going to show you real quick how to reinstall a carburetor on a 1969 VW Bug. Um, we already took it off right here. It's got two studs right here. 13 millimeter is what you're going to need. Uh, get one of these. It helps out a lot. Of course you're going to need that. You're going to need two of these and a couple different screwdrivers just when you get it on. It should be set. But just in case you got your gas and your air, uh, you might need to adjust them. Your fuel line is going to go up here. You're going to have a wire connecting into here and another wire connecting into here. I'll show you guys what I mean here in a bit. Oh, and right here too. I'll uh, I'll show you guys as we go along. All right, I'm going to see if I can do this one-handed. Maybe not. We're going to find out. Put that on like so. Move that over here. Drop that in. Now we're gonna tighten this bolt and then there's one back here. Let's see if I can see it. <laughs> in this maze of wires. touching right there I'm gonna go ahead and install those clamp them down so this is nice and snug and then I'll show you guys what to do from there all right both bolts are snug you're gonna take this wire right here if I can get it back on one hand it on come over here this one snaps back and uh, place just like that you are gonna have this one going into here just like so uh, this one, your fuel line, is going to go up here. It's going to take two hands to do that. Um, I'll just show you when I'm done. And also, you have part of your throttle right here. It goes into, if I can get it in the light, into this hole. And you just tighten down that bolt. I believe it is a 8 eight millimeter so you're gonna tighten that up too so when you pull on the cable it uh, pulls this so I'm gonna install those and I'll show you guys what to do from there I'll give you guys a quick tip uh, if you put a flathead screwdriver in right there and then use a flexible ratchet eight millimeter uh, you can use a leverage to tighten it down. It makes it a lot easier, especially if it's just one person out here. Um, hopefully it helps somebody out there. Anyway, I'm going to keep going on this video and show you guys what to do from here. Alright, everything's put back together. Um, so there's no fuel in here now because I had to drain it when I took it off. Um, you can do a couple different things. I'm going to pour a little bit of fuel down in here just to get it going. You know and pump the gas uh, you can also spray it which I might have to do it's gonna take I don't know a couple minutes just to get the fuel line back up and then fuel going through the carb so don't get frustrated it just uh, takes a minute it helps when there's two people to be honest but I'm gonna try to do this just me um, and then once you're done with that make sure there's no leaks anywhere make sure everything's snug and then put your uh, air filter back on and you're good to go uh, special thanks to my father-in-law for rebuilding this carb good looking out uh, I appreciate it and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video